Good morning. Welcome to Luke chapter 18 and today verses 18 to 23. And it says this. Now a certain ruler asked him, asked Jesus, saying, Good teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? So Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but one, that is God. You know the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not murder. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother. And he said, All these things I have kept from my youth. So when Jesus heard these things, he said to him, You still lack one thing. Sell all that you have and distribute to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Come and follow me. But when he heard this, he became very sorrowful, for he was very rich. Oh, ouch. Wow. So here comes a guy. He's upstanding. It sounds like he got all the gold stars at church, right? You know, he's been doing all these things from a, from a youth up. He's done all these good deeds all day long. He knows the commandments. So I haven't broken any of those. That's what he thought. But you know what? The Jesus detects there's something missing. There's something wrong here. And so there's one thing he lacks. What is it? Go and take everything you have. That's a pretty tall order. Does Jesus call all of us to take all of our goods and send it on? Well, this guy, this guy had a problem. This guy was a materialist. He was really into his stuff. You know, I've noticed a lot of people today, and we all seem to be trapped in this. There's a lot of this stuff. You've got people who are excited about the new pickup truck they have, or the new camera, or the new phone, or the new computer, or the new gadget, the this gadget and that gadget, or, or the new clothing. You know, your kids get clothing, and they look at themselves in the mirror, and they're checking out the new clothing. Hey, okay, I understand some of that. But look, we, we're... we're We've got to be careful we're not into so much stuff. Here is uh, somebody who looks like he was looking really good, but he was very sorrowful because he had a lot of stuff. And when he found out that following Jesus was going to mean uh, some issue, he's going to have to give up all that stuff. Boy, that did not turn out too well. You can read the parallel accounts in other, the other Gospels. He turned around and left, left Jesus. So because of his stuff? Yeah, because of his stuff. But because his heart was set on his stuff. I mean, his heart really wasn't set on following Jesus. Let us seek to be people who follow Jesus. We, let's even pray that God will help our heart to be set on following Jesus. Let's pray about that. Father in heaven, Lord, even right now, we look to you. We say, oh, please, Lord, we tend in certain directions, but help us. Help us to seek out the ways of Jesus. Help us not to be stuck in our stuff. Uh, this stuff could be removed from us in a moment. And so, Lord, it, it does, it's of no real account. What counts is, do we give you our heart? So help us, Lord. If we're materialistic in our orientation and, and our culture kind of trains us this way, we'll probably all have some of that. Help us, Lord, so that that becomes less and less. Please take that away, Lord, so that we have a right valuation of the spiritual compared to the material. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer.